teach you how to make a very elegant and so simple to do appetizer. I'm going to show you how to make my kadaifi shrimp. They're crisp, they're juicy, and they're pretty impressive if you ask me. So all it takes is a few ingredients. It's under 10 ingredients and the whole thing comes together in under 20 minutes. You cannot beat that. Make a whole batch of these, bake them off in the oven and put them out for your guests with your favorite sauce. The only important thing that you need to know is that you want your kadaifi pastry that's sold in the freezer section of a Mediterranean or Middle Eastern grocery store. You're going to get that there and then you're going to bring it home, thaw it out in your refrigerator overnight, let it come to room temperature on the countertop for about an hour or two before you work with it and everything else is going to be easy peasy. Let's go over the ingredients so we can start. We're going to need some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of salt, half a lemon, just the juice of half a lemon and your favorite spices. I'm using black pepper, ground cumin, and this is gr uh, granulated garlic powder. I have a pound of large shrimp that have been peeled, de-veined, but the tail is still on, that's important. I have half a pound of kadaifi pastry and some salted melted butter. So the Worcestershire sauce really adds that really good flavor that's gonna be in the background, that's gonna make it nice and savory. It marinates the shrimp really nicely too. We're gonna need about a tablespoon of it. It's pretty salty, so I'm gonna go easy on the salt, but before I do that, I'm just gonna squeeze half of a small lemon. We need about a tablespoon or two of lemon juice, just for that bright citrus flavor. A little bit of salt, and then I'm just gonna combine all of these spices and just put them on top of the shrimp, and just mix everything all together so that the shrimp is coated. Now you can leave this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to marinate, but there's so much flavor in this that you don't really have to do that. And that's it, the shrimp is marinated. Now, if you don't like these, this spice and herb combination, there's no herbs. If you don't like this spice combination, use your own. You could even just do some smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. Very simple, however you like it. Just give this a try, you're really gonna love it. Now again, you wanna make sure that the kadaifi pastry is thawed out properly. So I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging. And this is what the shrimp is gonna get wrapped up in. So you want them to be about nine inches long and about one and a half inches wide, the little, what is it called, little bunches of pastry. Now I'm gonna drizzle some melted butter on top of this. You can also tap it with the brush. And it is important for the uh, butter to have some salt in it. So if you're using unsalted butter, melt it and then sprinkle about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in there or a quarter teaspoon, whatever you prefer. Then we're gonna take one of the shrimps and we're gonna put it on the bottom and we're just gonna roll up and we're gonna leave the tail part exposed. And you wanna roll up as tight as you can. The first one might be messy, but it does get easier. Just like that. Let's do another one. We're gonna brush some butter on top or pat some butter on top. We'll take one of the shrimps, put it on the bottom and just roll it up. So all the shrimp are wrapped up. I have 22 here. I got the shrimp, they're about the jumbo shrimp that are 21 to 24 per pound. I have 22. Now the, with the remaining butter, I'm just gonna brush all the tops of the, sh of the kadaifi. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. These are gonna bake in the center rack for 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna turn the broiler element on and I'm gonna keep a very close eye on it because as soon as the kadaifi turns a nice golden brown, I'm gonna take them out and they're gonna be ready to serve. So my kadaifi shrimp are ready. As soon as they come out of the oven, you just wanna let them cool just a tiny bit. They're ready. I'm gonna take a bite. Just take a look before I take a bite at how beautiful they look. And now it's time to take a bite. <laughs> the shrimp has so much flavor. The kadaifi pastry is perfectly buttery and crisp and has just the right amount of salt from the salted butter, not overpowering. I would serve this with either some marinara sauce, tzatziki, or even the sweet, uh, sort of like a Chinese duck sauce. That would be great. You could do a combination of sauces and set these out as an appetizer, perfect for entertaining, perfect for your holiday table. I think you guys are gonna love these. Head on over to the website, www.dimitrisdishes.com to print this recipe out. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.